When I was like nine years old, for a very brief moment, I thought the word tatas meant toes. And so I asked my grandmother, Grandma, do you ever paint your tatas? And she was like, what? And I was like, do you ever paint your tatas? And she was like, people don't do that. And I'm like, yes, they do. Mom does it all the time. <laughs> And I was like, anyway, if you ever decide to paint your tatas, I think you should paint them green. If I see a bug, I will freak out. So much so that a cockroach put me in physical therapy. Basically what happened is I walked into my mom's kitchen to make breakfast. And while I was making breakfast, I felt something itchy on my leg. But I was like, oh, it's nothing. I'm just paranoid. So I ignored it. But the itchy feeling happened a second time. And I was like, maybe I should look down. I looked down and I see this huge roach on my leg. I was freaking out. Literally, I had a whole heart attack, did some gymnastics, and then fell onto my back. The physical therapist asked me, what brings you in here? I replied, a roach. No, 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 really. What brings you in here? A roach. Why do we think fifth graders were the coolest people alive when we were in second grade? Oh, they would jump over stairs, hit the door frame, and we would all be freaking out. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. And these guys would get all the attention. And this one time in second grade, my buddy Alex was fed up with this. You know what? Let me impress the school. It's our turn. I'm gonna jump over a fifth grader. Excuse you? I don't know what was going through his head. Now it's recess, and Alex is planning on jumping over one of the tallest fifth graders, Manny. And poor Manny was my Minding his business talking to other kids. But that didn't matter. Alex got ready and started running top speed towards Manny. Ah! Oof. Yeah, he didn't even make a dent. <laughs> if you can't relate to this video, I cannot explain how jealous I am. So remember in elementary school when the teacher would leave the room for three seconds and the class would all go recess hyper mode. Say, for example, Mr. James had to go talk to the teacher next door. Then, all of a sudden, the class would be running around, paper planes would be thrown around, they'd be screaming, and it would just be hyper. And then, when Mr. James comes back, everyone's teleported back to their seats all of a sudden, and they're goody two-shoes. What? We all have that one kid in our class who always has to be right, or you're just lucky enough to get into a good class. Say, if they get something wrong, they'll go like, oh, I was gonna say that. Were you, Billy? Were you? Or, if someone else gets the answer right, they go, <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say that as well. Were you? Now, mate, were you? Oh my god, and we can't forget the teacher's pet. So, say if it was reading time and some kids were talking, we're going, shh, 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 shh. you hate the teacher? Let the teacher do its job! I was in class on Zoom. I wanted to go to sleep, honestly, because like when I'm tired, I go to sleep. I end up falling asleep and then class ends and everyone starts leaving the class. Except me, because I was like in a whole other universe at this point. I was dreaming, I was flying. At this point, me and the teacher are alone in the call. This is the best part! <laughs> then the teacher starts talking to me and he's like, Samantha, wake up. Samantha, please. Samantha, you have another class. So he woke me up, but I was half awake, so I didn't really know what was going on. So I thought it was my brother waking me up, and I straight up yelled. I was like, shut up, you fat booger. And so then I realized, oh, shit, I just called my teacher a fat booger. And now he scheduled a parent conf. There is always that one girl who thinks everyone loves her and thinks everyone is her friend, but honestly just find her the most annoying thing ever. And when someone doesn't like her, she cries. Also, the same girl, to say that she did so bad in a test, she's internally crying. She tells you she got 98%. And then she asks you what you got. You tell her you got 78%. And then she says, oh my god, that's so good. Like, no. You literally just said that you got such a bad score. I got so much lower than you. And you told me mine is good. Make that make sense. Something I don't get is when I'm just minding my own business, you know, on my phone, scrolling through TikTok, feeling really relaxed in my enclosed bedroom. And then, a parent just randomly walks in and just stands there and then complains about everything I do wrong. For example, me always on that phone, never helping out with the house. Um, I literally washed the dishes the other day and cleaned the bathrooms, which is absolutely disgusting but the worst thing ever is when they finally leave the room but they don't close the stupid door you enter the room with a closed door you leave the room with a closed door what do people not understand about that then 
I would have to move up from my very comfortable position and close it myself. Close the door. My daughter Savannah is the CEO of faking illness to get out of school. So when she does not feel like being there, she will go to the nurse's office and complain to them that she is really not feeling good so that they call me and I have to go get her. Well, one day after this happens, I walk into the administrative office and everybody is really concerned because Savannah is sitting in a chair like so dramatically like, Hi, mom. And like, when I saw her, I I burst out laughing. I was like, oh my God, are you okay? And everybody looked at me like I was some really bad mom. Like, oh my God, why aren't you more concerned? But as we were walking out, she was walking really slow and actually didn't look good. So even I was a little concerned. I was like, oh my God, honey, are you okay? Until we got to the car when Savannah looks at me and goes, you know what, mom? I feel better now. And I was like, Savannah, are you serious? And she's like, mom, do you maybe want to go to Starbucks and have like a girl's day? And I was like, honey, what kind of question is that? You know I do. <laughs> you just be like, oh, you can't wear makeup. You can't wear jewelry. You can't dress how you want. You can't paint your nails. You can't do this. You can't do that. Blah, 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 blah. And if you live in the UK, you'll know that on the 8th of March, we're going back to school after the lockdown. Over that lockdown, I've been wearing makeup. I've been wearing whatever clothes I want. I've been painting my nails, I've been wearing jewellery. Has it affected my learning in any way? No. And then teachers come back saying like, oh, but we need to set the boundaries somewhere. We'll set the boundaries somewhere. Make boundaries. But like, let teenagers express themselves. <laughs> wearing a necklace will not affect my learning. All of a sudden, oh no, I painted my nails white. Oh my god, all of a sudden... Wait, what's 2 plus 2? I don't even know. Let me take the nail polish off. Right, now I know what 100 times 1 million is. Oh, yippee! My mother's first language is Spanish, so sometimes when I talk to her in English, she'll forget a word or two, but not a problem. She'll just create new words, words no one else was brave enough to use. She took my little cousins to the mall once, and this is what she told me when she got back. She was like, it was so cute. I took the kids on one of those, um... El horse tornado or whatever. You know what it is. I'm sorry. El horse tornado? I'm gonna need you to elaborate. And she was like, you know what I'm talking about. You put that attitude down, you put it down. I was like, okay, putting it down. Sorry. <laughs> she said, don't try me. I'll kick your ass. And I was like, you don't need to kick my ass. Just put me in a horse tornado. I'll be terrified. You think you're funny? Mom, how would you act if someone said that to you in Spanish? Tornado de caballos. That sounds horrifying. She was like, okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Merry go round, by the way. I know that I cannot be the only one where you're in school and you literally like break your arm or something or like your knee is split open. There's literally blood everywhere and you're in so much pain. Like you've literally just broken a bone. So then obviously you're going to go to like the school nurse or medical room or whatever. And all they would say is put a wet paper towel on it. You would just stare at her in disgust. Like, miss, I've broken my arm. Are you seriously just going to sit there and watch me hold a stupid wet paper towel on it? And then they say, like, oh, don't worry, sweetheart. I'm, like, trained to do this stuff. Well, you're clearly not, hun. Can you not, like, call my mum or something at least? Like, just do something. Because wet paper towels do not cure anything. They're not made of magic. You know, when you tell your mom, mom, my phone is so laggy. The battery goes too quick. Everything's just not working. And I've got good grades so far. Please, can I get a new phone? You know, they're pretty reasonable, sensible reasons. Then she has the audacity to say no. Huh? My dad. Yes, that guy over there. Literally has three phones. Like, I know that he bought it with his own money and he can do whatever he wants with his own money. But three phones. Seriously. And he's like, oh, I need one for work, one for personal, and an extra for reading. No, you don't need three phones. He's got three, and I can't even get a replacement. Is it just me? Like, when you're watching YouTube, or like anything that has adverts, and an advert pops up, and it's just like, reading's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. It's like, no! I don't want grammar!
Hey, I can write. I can read. I don't need this. And then it has the audacity to be like, Are you sure you want to skip this advert? Yes, I'm sure I want to skip it. I absolutely hate. When you're like in English class or something and your teacher is just simply explaining your task to you. But then you decide to start a very loud conversation with your best friend. She notices you and your teacher gives you that look that really says no. She's like, <clears throat> oh wait. You both look at her like, I'm so sorry. Was my lesson interrupting your conversation? It's fine guys, seriously, I'll wait. I'm like, thank you sister. Because I've still got to go through all the drama with my best friend. I cannot be the only person that relates to this. But whenever you're doing PE outside at school. Oh my god. So gross. Sorry. Um, the teacher's like, oh, it's not that cold. and It's not that hard. Just run the 17,000 miles. Why don't you run with us, bestie? Come on. Just take off your coat, stand up from that wheelie chair, because I might not know how to do it. So you're the teacher, you're supposed to show us how to do it, so why don't you show me, because somehow I just forgot. You know those popular girls who think they can sing, but in reality they sound like a super massive black hole? I was paired up with one of them to finish a project, and Miss Girl did nothing. Didn't even type a single syllable. So I had to go out of my way and finish her part of the project. And so today she posts on her Snap story a video of herself singing, Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Big can go jingle your head into a brick wall. The I used to know this girl who would constantly say things like, Guys, sorry, I'm so ugly. I just ruined the whole group photo, I'm sorry. And then everyone would automatically comfort her and be like, No, you're beautiful. You shine. And then she would be like, No, but thank you. And she would do the same thing over and over again, trying to get everyone's attention. So eventually, I got tired. So the next time she came to me saying, I'm so ugly, I was like, <laughs> You know what? You are. She was like, what'd you say? And I was like, bitch, if you think you're ugly, I can crop you out of the photo. The f you want me to tell you? I'm not the one who made you look like a woolly mammoth. Annoying when you're in class and you finally hear the bell ring. But then the teacher goes like, oh, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. Like, no. The whole point of the bell is to dismiss us. So I'm packing my bag. I don't care. I'm not missing even two minutes of my lunch break. And then they have the audacity to ask, where do you think you're going? Well, where do you think I'm going? To the grocery store? No, I'm going to eat my... We literally had that one kid in primary school who would literally ruin everything for the class. Like, say if the teacher was doing that one minute in silence thing because we were talking too much um, in the lesson and then we'd lose like... A, one minute, a minute of our break time but if someone as such as made a sound then like we'd have to start all over again like bloody bloody blah there would always be that one kid who thought he was an actual comedian because he kept on making bloody gorilla noises in the one minute of silence and then we'd have to keep on starting the time all over and all over again and this dude just wouldn't anyone else just like the late person like i am late for everything not only am i the person who's always coming up late to to anything <laughs> But I am also the person who is late mentally. Like, someone will be telling a joke or something. And like five minutes later when the whole conversation has changed, I'll be like, oh, or like laughing my head off. And they'll be so confused. They'll be like, what? Why are you laughing? Are you okay? Yeah, I am that friend. Is it just me? Like when you're scrolling through TikTok, you could be on any video and then automatically TikTok like, scrolls down like a bajillion videos like i'm sorry honey but i'm not finished with the one i was just watching and you've just scrolled you've just scrolled down like 10 videos so then you have to scroll up again to watch the videos that tiktok just told you no you you don't get to watch these does that happen to anyone else because i've asked my friends about it and they said that it doesn't happen to them what what is it about me tiktok huh why can't i watch videos huh don't you just love those teachers who, when you need to go to the bathroom during class, they're always like, No, why didn't you go at lunch? Why didn't you go at recess? 
Well, maybe, Miss Mother Jones, because I can't dictate my brother. Maybe, because I didn't need to go then. Or they would say something like, okay, you need to wait until Vanessa and Veronica comes back. I need to People who think the whole world revolves around them kills me. For example, when you see someone wearing a really nice top, and you ask them, oh my god, I love your top, where did you get it from? And they stare at you in disgust and say, uh, I don't know, find your own clothes. Like, girl, it's a piece of cloth. It's not that deep. Just tell me, you know? Or when they think everyone is always copying them with everything they do. No, it's called a trend. You're basic, no one's copying you. Do you ever just not trust yourself? For example, if I made something, like cook something, I would not eat it. I mean, I know what I put in, but I feel like I poisoned myself or something. Or at school, I know the answer. And I'm like 100% sure that that's the answer. But I will not say it out loud. I will always have to double check with my friend who sits next to me. Someone tell me why online shopping is so addictive. For example, I would be on a clothing website and I'll be there adding every single thing to my basket. It's as if I think I'm not broke. And I know that when I see the basket price, I would cry. Honestly, online shopping is dangerous. It hurts my mental health. This is the number one song that actually gets on my nerves. I say disco, you say party, disco, disco, party, party. I say disco, you say party, disco, disco, party, party. Like, no disco. And I don't say party, party. Like, who are you talking to? Like, I'm not going to be singing to the screen. Disco, disco, party, party. Shut up! I do not understand how people are not afraid of spiders. Like, it has eight legs and like 20,000 eyes. Uh -uh. I saw a spider in my room. You think I'm going to sleep in there? <laughs> nope, I'm moving to Japan. Konnichiwa! I don't like to study, studying's not what I do, but if I fail my test, my mama going to use kung fu. You just be like, oh, you can't wear makeup, you can't wear jewelry, you can't dress how you want, you can't paint your nails, you can't do this, you can't do that, blah, 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 blah. And if you live in the UK, you'll know that on the 8th of March, we're going back to school after the lockdown. Over that lockdown, I've been wearing makeup. I've been wearing whatever clothes I want, I've been painting my nails, I've been wearing jewellery. Has it affected my learning in any way? No. And then teachers come back saying like, oh, but we need to set the boundaries somewhere. We'll set the boundaries somewhere. Make boundaries. But like, let teenagers express themselves. <laughs> wearing a necklace will not affect my learning. All of a sudden, oh no, I painted my nails white. Oh my god, all of a sudden, wait, what's 2 plus 2? I don't even know. Let me take the nail polish off. Right, now I know what 100 times 1 million is. Oh, yippee.